Right, so hey guys, and welcome back to another Python tutorial. In this video, we're going to be creating a QR generator using Python. So without further ado, let's get started. To begin with, you're going to need a library called QR code. So make sure you install QR code library using the command pip install uh, QR code in your command prompts. And once you've done that, you're basically good to go. I'm just going to quickly select my environment here, and then we can start with the code. So like I said, we're going to be using the QR code library, which is going to be handling most of the heavy weight for us. So let's do import QR code. And then once we run that, if you have that successful, that means you've installed it correct. So, so far, so good. Now we have to instantiate this QR code class into an object. So we're going to do uh, a new variable called QR, and we're going to do QR code dot QR code. And then in here, we need to provide a few arguments. So firstly, the version that we're going to be using, we're going to set that to one because um, that's the, the bit, the one that I've been experimenting around with. Then there's an important one called error correlation. Sorry, error correction. Now, the reason we need to specify this is because um, during most QR code, for, for most QR codes, they're obviously going to be printed on some kind of paper. So uh, this variable right here will basically let this uh, QR code object know uh, how much tolerance to have for things like um, damage to that piece of paper on which the QR code is printed or dirt or just in general um, how much damage that QR code can handle uh, and still be scannable. So um, we're going to basically use a constant um, that's set in this library and that's going to be the error uh, correct L. And what L it basically stands for is it means that we're going with the lowest threshold, uh, which means that if this QR code, when printed, gets uh, dirty and stuff, um, it's only going to have like a 7% damage threshold. So uh, if it gets too dirty, it's going to be that this QR code will no longer be able to be scanned. Now, Obviously, if you want it to have a high tolerance to errors, then you can go with H, which stands for high, uh, and that's the highest one available. Cool. So we're going to go with the lowest threshold because we want our QR to be kind of small and we don't really care for um, it print being printed for this version of the tutorial anyway. Then you can set the size uh, in, the, uh, in the box where the QR code will be drawn. I'm going to set this to 10. And then you can set the border size as well for the QR code. I'm going to set this to 4. Obviously, this is up to you uh, based on what you want to do with it. Now that I've got the QR code uh, object basically initialized and provided the important parameters, we need to add the data behind this QR code. So basically, once the QR code is scanned, what will the user be shown? So let's define our data here. And obviously, this can be anything. You can also do this for Wi-Fi passwords and stuff. You could put your Wi-Fi password in here, for, for example. But I'm going to, for now, just refer this to um, my personal website. So findjesusstreamer.com, and that's going to be the data behind my QR code. Now that we have the data defined, we take the object or the variable that we created up here, and then we do the add data. Um, we use the add data function, and then we add the data to it. Now that that's done, we do qr.make, and we type in fit equals true because we want to fit it to the dimensions that we provided. Um, once we do that, what we want to do is uh, actually generate and save the QR code. So we're going to create a new variable called image. We're going to assign that to qr.make image. And then we're going to make sure that the fill is going to be black because I want my QR code to be uh, black. And then the background color, we're going to uh, set that to white. So basically the classic where you have the the QR code in black and the background is white. You can obviously change those. And then once that's made, we basically want to save the image. So we'll do image img save, and then you just give a name to your QR code file. So I'm just going to call this uh, my website qr.png. And then lastly, we can just do a quick print statement saying QR code has been generated. And that's basically all there is to it. If you now run this uh, code. We should hopefully get, yep, we get a new image right here called mywebsiteqr.png and the code says QR has been generated. Now for moment of truth, we obviously need to double check that this QR code actually takes us to my website or provides us with that link. I mean, it looks just fine, but will it actually work? 
Cool, so for the sake of this tutorial, I found this website, which is basically very simple, and um, you can drag and drop a QR code image in here, and it will try and read the data for you. So let's drag and drop our My Website QR code image in here, and we'll see if it actually works. Cool, so it's actually shown us that the data behind it is a link to my website, which I actually put in there. Now if I click on this, as you can see, uh, it redirects me to my website. Perfect, that's it for today's tutorial guys, just wanted to make a short one, um, sort of handy sort of tutorial that you might be able to use in your day to day. Um, if you guys are, aren't already subscribed, please make sure to subscribe as I'm trying to get to 100,000 subs. I know it's quite a lot, but if every one of you subscribes, it'll be really helpful. And as always guys, I shall see your beautiful faces in the next one. Peace.